Hey guys, it has been, well, it has been a very long time since I decided to pick up this camera. Um, I just put on this skincare headband because in today's video I'm going to be filming a little chit chat, get ready with me video because obviously there's some things that need to be discussed. So let's just get right into it. Okay, first of all, don't mind this, um, but I don't even like know where to like actually start, honestly. Um, I guess we should start with where I've been. That was really refreshing. I love this spray. It's literally just spring water, but it's so refreshing. So basically, I decided to take um, a little break from YouTube because i needed that time for myself i was feeling like really overwhelmed and you're probably like well you barely like posted you're right but i still like even when i did post i still put a lot of time into editing and to uploading videos for you guys and it got to the point where it was just like kind of becoming like a chore and i didn't really have the time to just do that and i didn't want to make the time to do that because it just didn't feel like fun anymore at that point and that's how like most youtubers get i feel like the burnout really is real my posting was like all over the place and stuff so i really took a break to figure out what i wanted to do and what i wanted to kind of like do with my life because youtube like took up a lot of my time like because editing takes me forever like i'm not even lying to you when i say it but it really takes a long time for me to edit um, because I'm trying to make the videos like really good for you guys, but um, yeah That's like kind of the reason I stopped and I wanted to kind of find myself I kind of wanted to find like new things to do and stuff like that so Yeah, and also I like when I'm on YouTube I get like really I don't know Like kind of stressed like I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel and it's not going like as I envisioned it and it's been taking me a while to like grow on my channel and also it's just kind of weird having a YouTube channel and then people find out or people don't know and it's got kind of scary so yeah and I really wanted to take the time away to figure out what I want to do with this YouTube channel and what I want to use it for and how I'm going to use it to like I don't really know but I hope you guys understand and I'm really sorry for keeping you guys waiting for a long time But the first video I decided to film was this because obviously Like there's like the things that we need to talk about So enough about that. Um, I kind of just wanted to get a fresh start on YouTube and kind of just like Redo my channel in a few different ways like not drastically but like I want to change some things up and really just um have a fresh start to try to make my videos as good as I can make them and make my channel be a little more put together and professional. So I need to figure out a lot because I need to figure out like times that I'm posting and what videos you guys want to see and like it all literally depends on you guys because you're the ones watching me so I kind of need to know your guys' input on everything. So yeah. Um, I'm a sophomore in high school now, so I like, I don't know. It's just everything's been changing for me, and I just need time away from YouTube to get used to that. Um, but I am back as of right now, and I need to figure out what videos I want to do. Because when I watch myself, I get bored. So I feel like when I put videos out for you guys, you guys get bored and you don't like watching me. But then, like, there's people always commenting when you're putting a new video out, and I just don't want to film a video and make myself seem like boring because for me it's like the same kind of videos and I just get bored of editing them so I don't really know how you guys feel but that's just how I feel about that and this video is kind of going to be explaining a lot so if you want to stay because there's going to be like a lot said then like go grab something to eat or something to drink this is going to be a little long one it's probably not going to be edited that much because I just wanted to do a realistic chit chat get ready with me. So if you want a more in depth like makeup tutorial, if you don't want that, I don't really care. But 
if you're wondering like what I'm using and stuff just let me know and then I can go and film that for you because this isn't going to be in depth I'm just going to be rambling and getting ready so but yeah enough being said with why I like quit YouTube for a while um I just need to have a fresh start figure out what I'm going to be doing and yeah okay moving on from that the next thing that I'm going to discuss is life in general. Guys, I turned 16 November 28th and I literally can drive now. It's like crazy. But where I live, the weather has been like snowy and stuff like that. So I haven't been able to get much driving time in, which is really unfortunate because I'm actually really excited to drive. I can get my license officially on June 8th, I believe. So like right after school. And I'm like so excited also for my birthday It wasn't like on my birthday. I think it was a few days But yeah, it was a few days before my birthday my parents surprised me and my brother with a car So I was like not expecting that and it's not my birthday present But it kind of is in a sense that my birthday was in a few days, but we're sharing the car and it's like so gorgeous I literally love it so much and I love driving it because it's super easy for me to drive and there's so many cool like features and I'm really obsessed but um they got us a BMW and it's blue and it's so pretty it's like a deep blue it's not like a bright turquoise blue or something like that but I'm just so thankful for that and you might be wondering like how do you share like a car well right now he doesn't have his license my brother doesn't have his license yet like he can get them but he needs to get them he needs to get it but um he hasn't been able to do that quite yet because he has to pass um but that's okay um and obviously I can't get my license until like I drive for so long and stuff like that because right now I have my permit so yeah um so yeah with that being said that was like a big life update like girl you're literally driving now and i'm like i know and when i turned 16 i'm like girl so for my 16th birthday i had some like a few friends over and we just had like a par a little tiny party like girls night kind of thing and then in the morning we went to like duncan and like stuff like that but during the summer i'm gonna be throwing like a little bit of a like a bigger 16th sweet 16 party and i chose to hold it off until the summer because the weather's nicer more people will be able to come and there's more like fun options like more fun things to do so i don't have planned what i'm exactly going to be doing for that yet but i do have like a few ideas I'm just gonna finish my concealer i'll be right back a little water break <clears throat> girl needs it holy so that's like a little update on what my life's been like with my birthday and now i want to talk about some other things that have been happening in my life oh girly no girly no okay so basically if you guys didn't know oh my gosh if you were an og <laughs> ew i hate saying that that sounds so cringe if you've been watching me for a very long time to the point where it's like you know the old videos and how bad they are um i used to do gymnastics i loved <laughs> i need to fix this blush sorry guys ignore me for a second but um i love gymnastics so much but i never got to compete or anything like that because i had some growth problems with my knee i had like ostrid slaughter disease and it was like Something with my growth play and me overworking like excessively and not having that time to like grow and it was all messed up. So basically, I took a while off and had to wear a brace for a while. This was back in like sixth grade or fifth grade or something and I'm t in 10th grade right now. But and that's when COVID hit as well. So those two things kind of canceled like gymnastics for me because the gym was closed. I couldn't go. And I was really upset because all I've ever wanted to do is compete and I haven't been able to do that. So as of recently when I took a break from YouTube, I got back into gymnastics. I started going to a new gym for starters to kind of practice some skills and stuff. And I took classes 
it was like every week um so i really just used that time to see if i wanted to get back into gymnastics and if that's something that i'm still interested in doing which i am so um this summer i'm thinking about taking going back to my old gym because the new gym that i go to is like an hour over an hour away and like we can't drive like every if i went to that gym we couldn't drive every day for practices and it wouldn't work out but the gym has so many good features it's like really sad that i don't live closer like i'd want to live closer so i could go to that gym and like compete there but i couldn't so um i can still go and do practices there and get they're like kind of private lessons but they're not because it's with a group and they're in like the same skill level as you basically but i'm adding a lot of blush because i love blush i used to not like blush but now i do like it, i used to like not like how it looked on me but now i'm kind of vibing with this because i got this new blush from elf okay she's not focusing so basically yeah i got back involved with gymnastics and um then because winter like hits pretty hard here sometimes so the weather has been like iffy and my dad doesn't want me and my mom driving to practices all the way down there since it's so far away and he doesn't want us to get in like a car accident so i haven't i had to stop like before the winter but now i'm that was just to see if i was still interested if that's something i still wanted to do and i believe that the answer is yes and i would love to be involved with so many different sports but my school doesn't have any of the sports that i'd want to get involved in like they our school is like a really small school i go to a really small school with like not that many people like i know everybody but like um i would want to get involved in sports if our school was like good at sports like that sounds so rude but like the sports that we have were not like the best obviously we don't have the most athletic people to go to our school because it's a small school so yeah i always thought it would be cool to do like a whole bunch of sports and i feel like my time's running out because i'm 16 and i need to like i've been so like putting so much pressure on myself to like do more with my life and not just like sit around and stuff like that and it's just been really stressful because that's another reason i took a break from youtube and I've really been trying to like not put that pressure on myself because I'm still a teenager. Obviously, I still have time to do all this stuff and I don't need to do everything. Like, it's okay. So, um, I've just been wanting to do new things. Like, do new sports, do new activities. But if I do gymnastics, I would be doing it at my old gym where I would actually be competing. And I'm self-taught for the most part, but I'm actually, like, not to like brag, but I'm actually really good because I taught myself a lot of skills. And I would practice like every summer and I was like really good and um, I, that's why I was like mad that I couldn't compete, you know, because um, yeah. But this summer I'm going to, well maybe this spring, I think this spring, I'm going to get back involved with gymnastics for real. And maybe if I don't like it at that old gym, like if I don't then I might do it somewhere else or I might try some new sports. I always thought it'd be fun to do like track and volleyball. Like everybody's been wanting me to do volleyball at my school, but like I never did because I was like, I'm not gonna be good at it. And that's like another thing that makes me mad is when I keep telling myself, if you're not like perfect at it or you're not like super good at it, don't do it. And I feel like I could have had so much fun doing volleyball because all my friends were on the team and I just never wanted to do volleyball even though I could have and I probably would have been good at it because they said I was good at it but like I didn't believe them because if I'm not like if it's not my sport like gymnastics is my sport then I just feel like there's no point in doing it I feel like that's pretty toxic though because I don't really know okay also I just noticed that this like is in the way it's my like little digital alarm clock thing up there so sorry I didn't know that was in the way but okay so that's like another like little life update that i wanted to talk to you guys about but i've always wanted to do more sports and since my school doesn't have any like they don't have many options and like there's other big schools that have like every single sport you can think of it's kind of unfair but also i'm have three other siblings and our family is a family of six so if we're, we're all doing sports like we're all doing sports then it's like really 
hard for my parents to make time for each and every one of us like if I was competing in gymnastics and then my brothers were doing other sports and my sisters doing other sports then it was just like really hard to make time for that that's why I could never get like fully involved into a sport because my parents always made sure that like we each had our own specific time to do a sport so I kind of just wish that I had more time that I could have spent doing a sport since I'm getting older now, but it's okay. I grabbed this mirror because I can't do my eyelashes from this mirror that I'm looking at right now. It's like way too far away. So another thing I want to talk about is how school's been going. So for me, school has been really good. We just started the second semester. I got a lot of good classes with the people that I like. Um, and it's just been really good. And a lot of you guys like like want school content and stuff but i can't film in my school like they're like if you like film in school and you film people without their consent kind of stuff but i don't want to ask them to be in a youtube video because for me that's just so awkward because then they want to look up my channel and like it's just no like no because if once one person knows like some people do know but none of the people in my grade like some people do know but they kind of forgot that i have and they never like found it they just knew that i had one or something i don't really know but nobody really knows about it so i don't want to just be like hey do you want to be in my youtube video and they're gonna be like what are you talking about like you have a youtube channel and then they're gonna like look it up and then i'm gonna be like no because it's just so awkward i don't know that's why i don't film school content because and plus there's it's probably gonna not gonna be the most interesting because it's just gonna be like me and the one friend that knows about my youtube channel and she's not even in all of my classes i just don't like people finding out because like i like to keep this to myself kind of but obviously if my youtube channel is going to grow people are going to find out so i kind of need to just chill like you know um my eyes are going to look really crazy because of the mascara right now but whatever so another thing is i know you guys will probably want to know if like i'm in a relationship or something because it's usually like a common like Q&A question. Um, I've been talking to this guy for a while. And we're like really good friends. But also like, you know. So yeah, I I'm, ta I'm currently talking to someone. I have been for a while. I can't give you the exact date because it's been a while. But we, yeah. So like just with all the stuff I'm telling you guys, my life has been all over the place lately. And I've also just been thinking about what I want to do with my life and like what I want to be and it's like stressful, you know, and also maintaining really good grades because I want to get into a good school and I want to accomplish a lot with my life and yeah, it's been a little bit, not like stressful, but it's just a lot's been on my plate in my mind. So I'm glad I'm like talking to you guys about it, even if you guys don't even probably care but it's fine okay i always wait for my mascara to dry completely before i go in with my eyelash curler because i've heard that that prevents it from like falling out and breaking and stuff so while we're doing that i wanted to do a cute little overlined lip moment or like just line my lips to add color so don't mind how i look right now because once i curl my eyelashes it makes the biggest difference since i'm blonde you can't really see my eyelashes but once i curl them they're like there okay i just took off my lip gloss because i for kind of forgot that was on so now we're gonna oh <coughs> now we're gonna overline my lips again but i don't really overline i just go around the line that my lips are already there because i don't like overlining but so hello wait okay let's try that again so what i do is go around the line of my lips and then do this and brush it in then i get a chapstick okay i just did my lips off camera because on camera she was not looking so hot it was not going so well but now we're gonna curl my eyelashes they should be dry now i always make sure that they're not wet so they're dry okay so we're gonna curl them another recent change is i got a new phone so i got a new phone for christmas and if you guys didn't know on my old phone like i never had storage to like edit because i edit on a phone because i don't have like a laptop 
Yes, laptops are expensive, guys. And I like using the Villo editing software because that's what I'm like most comfortable with and I like it. So, and I also have the premium version of it. So it's like I can get access to like everything. So I got a new phone. So now I have good storage and I don't have all the pictures and videos that I had on my old phone. So I can kind of start fresh with my storage and like, um, hey, they look, they look pretty good today. I can start fresh with my storage, fresh with my videos. And that's kind of something that I was like, yay. So I'm really going to try to keep my storage clean on this phone. And whenever I have videos and stuff I want to save, I'm going to save it onto my <clears throat> little um, USB hard drive, little thingy, so that I don't waste all the storage on my phone. Because, yeah. I also think it's really convenient to edit on a phone because it's so easy. And you don't have to, like, use, like, yeah, I don't know. I just like editing my phone. Since I'm currently getting back into YouTube, obviously I'm going to be a little slow at first. Like, I'm going to have to figure out what videos I want to do and the time schedule and everything. And it's just going to take a while. So, just bear with me, guys. And sometimes I'm going to need to take a break because it gets, like, it's kind of stressful sometimes. So, sometimes I'm going to take a break, but I'll let you guys know how long my break will be. And then, like, sometimes I need a mental refresh. But it's like the new year, so I think I'm ready to make some new goals this year and really work on myself and stuff like that. Another thing I've been thinking about a lot recently is like what God wants me to do and this highlighter, bro. And what he has planned for me. And I know that I can't know that yet. Obviously, I can't know that because he's the only one who knows that. So I've just been thinking a lot like of like where I'm supposed to be in life and stuff which I know it's kind of like it will come to me like it will happen the way God wants it to happen and that's just been my thought process recently but I really just want to glorify him through everything that I do because everything I have and everything I do is for him and because of him and as a Christian that's like a very important thing so yeah um I also want to start talking about more Christian stuff on my videos because like I have an audience and I can grow that audience and I want to share like I want to share like God with you guys and I want to share my knowledge with you guys and like be a witness to you guys because like I have like people watching that might not know about like what I believe and stuff like that so I'm gonna share that more with you guys make more videos about that because I feel like that'd be really good something I've been thinking about a lot recently too is what so me and my sister were on FaceTime with my cousin a couple nights ago like a couple weeks a couple weeks ago and she said something that kind of stuck with me for a while um she was talking about how social media is can be a really toxic place and people are constantly like um telling you like what to do what to wear what trends are like she's like why should they decide like who i am and what i wear and what aesthetic it is this month like the clean girl aesthetic or like the clean girl look like she's like i'm gonna be my own person and i'm like yes like literally i agree 100 percent like Sometimes social media can be like such a toxic place and when I go on, I just see like everyone else's lives and like constantly compare mine to theirs and it makes it hard for like me and it's like a really bad mental thing. But I'm going to get better at that and I just wanted to say that sometimes I need a break because life is like kind of stressful sometimes and sometimes I just need to know that this is my life and God has a purpose for me and what other people's lives are can be totally different from what my life is but that doesn't make my life any less important or valuable we all have like things that we we all have like special features and we're all like unique and I feel like social media tries to like make us feel like we all need to conform to this world and we're not supposed to conform to this world we're not supposed to do everything that the world does because we are not supposed to be living for the world. Like as a Christian, like 
we believe that like we do not we should not be conforming to the world because we got to stand out and we got to spread god's word and be a light so we can't be doing all like the wrong things that the, everyone else does like we need to be doing the good things and like helping people grow closer to god so that's what i've been thinking about a lot like how social media shouldn't dictate how we live our lives and what stuff we buy like people have like super expensive like makeup products or super expensive clothing and like everyone feels like they're like because it's like trending like i don't know like lululemon or like charlotte tilbury makeup or something like that everyone thinks that everyone's like needs that just because they see it on social media but you do not need that that stuff is just materialistic stuff and that stuff's going to pass away throughout time so you don't need to have stuff like that like i don't know i'm just trying to say don't feel bad for your life and don't compare it to other people's lives because you honestly at the end of the day don't know their whole story and just some stuff isn't worth in some stuff isn't even worth buying personally like everyone raves about something just to get you to buy like that's the whole concept of social media and like branding and stuff like that and sometimes i don't agree with that because then that makes people feel like they don't have like enough money to like get that and then they're like they feel bad because like their friends have it or something like that and just know that that stuff's eventually going to fade away and it's not going to matter because yeah. so i think this is it for my little chit chat get ready with me i talked to you guys about so much i'm so glad i got all that stuff off my chest and i'm so sad that this video is over because i really had fun filming it another thing i'm trying to do is to have fun filming my videos and try making them more interesting for you guys so i really hope i am but this is the finished look so yeah i love you guys so much and i will be working to make this channel better and i also want this to be a safe place for you guys if you ever have any questions if you ever need someone to talk to please 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 reach out or comment down below because like i can try to help you guys and like i don't know try to give you guys advice and i just really want to be there for you guys if you need any help or if you don't have anyone to talk to because i feel like it's really important like to have someone to talk to about anything honestly and I'm going to be that person for you guys. So, love you guys so much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And my hair is looking atrocious. Um, but we're not going to mind that because we don't really care what other people think. Like, we're trying to get these, we're trying to get these mindsets rolling, guys, for 2024. Like, new year, new us. And it doesn't just have to be this year, guys. We don't just have to start goals at the beginning of the year. Like, we can... Get better make goals throughout the whole year like we can do so much this year and we can do just whatever you want put your mind to it because i know you guys can do it and that's what i'm going to be doing this year so thank you guys so much i'll see you in my next video bye guys